as above, so below, implies that what we experience as human beings in the world as it is, corresponds with a higher reality. A higher love enters our hearts and expresses through us in the world. Let us open to what is above and let it in. One image of above and below that comes to mind for me is a picture of a mountain reflected in a lake. Of course, the mountain reflection is upside down, but other than that, we see as above, so below. If the mountain is in dark shadow, so is its reflection. And if it's in bright sunlight, so is its image. But there's only a perfect reflection when the water is still, like a sea of glass. In my own experience, if I want to let what is above in, I must start with that stillness. When I was young, there were two special knobs on our TV set. They were called the horizontal hold and the vertical hold. You could fix all those wavy or bouncing images on our TV by twisting the knobs. I heard of a young bright TV engineer who figured out a way to put just one vertical knob on the TV set, which when you properly adjusted that one vertical knob, the horizontal would also become clear. But my neighbor who bought that new TV set was confused by having just one knob. And I recall him saying, how do I fix this squiggly image? Where's the horizontal knob? And isn't that what life is like? Something goes wrong and people say, what can I fix or manipulate on the horizontal plane to get this to clear up? Do I change jobs, people around me? Do I turn to excessive drugs? Do I keep complaining because I can't find a horizontal knob? How about going vertical? If I adjust my vertical, the horizontal will change. As above, so below. Hundreds of years ago, human consciousness was relatively simple. There were memories and aspirations and fragments of stored conversations and so forth in a person's head. But now in the 21st century, the average mind today is stuffed with, let's say, for example, 20% entertainment, 20% social media, 25% advertising, and so forth. No wonder there's so much clutter, waste, and materialism out there. As above, in my overpopulated, constipated consciousness, so below. I recall waking up a few years ago singing a song by Madonna called, I'm a Material Girl. I thought, hmm, why is that in my head? I'm neither material nor a girl. One way I can handle these thousands of random lyrics and thoughts which pop up in my head like toast in a toaster is to say to them, you're toast. But there's also something more sacred I need to do. Turn that vertical knob, become an oasis of stillness, make total space for what is above. And then I'll sing, I'm a spiritual man, not a material girl. I am an axle. I am a sanctuary. The US Air Force Academy, which is not all that far from Sunrise Ranch, has a great motto integrity first, service before self. But my favorite service motto is from the US Space Force, which has adopted two Latin words, simper supra, which means always above. Certainly in a practical way, I sometimes need to pay attention to what is below, such as where I'm stepping when I walk. But spiritually speaking, my focus can only be in one place, simper supra, always above, always open to higher intelligence and the highest love. May they enter me now to offer blessing, healing, and the regeneration of what is below. And thanks to all of you for providing what Cease asked us to do at the beginning, providing a portal above for the greatest love and highest wisdom to enter while I've been speaking. Simper Supra, always above. 
as above, so below.